this video, I'm going to be talking about the final circle theorem, and one that I think is often the hardest to spot in a question, the angles in alternate segments, often called the alternate segment theorem. Specifically, this is the theorem that says the angle between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle at the circumference in the alternate segment. So here, this looks a little bit like alternate angles, which is something we have already seen. We've got alternate angles in parallel lines. It's that kind of idea. Now, these are not parallel lines. It's not quite the same, but it's the same kind of idea. So we're saying that these two red angles are the same, and these two blue angles are the same. As I say, this can be quite hard to spot in a question, but we've got a tangent here, and we've got ourselves a triangle inside the circle. When we have that, the angles in the alternate segments are the same. So in this segment, the segment being made here, we've got a minor segment and a major segment. So the minor segment has this blue angle, this first blue angle, and the major segment has this second blue angle. We're saying that they're the same. So we need to prove this. And we're going to prove it in much the same way, well, the same starting point that we've used for all of these theorems, we're going to add in some radii. And I'm going to give an angle a name. I'm going to call this one A. Now, what my theorem is telling me is that in theory, this angle here, A, should be the same as this angle over here. That's what I'm hoping it's going to tell me. But of course, I can't assume that. I have to prove it. What do I know? I do know that here, between the red line, which is a radius, and this black line, which is a tangent, I have to have a right angle. That's an earlier theorem I've already proved. That has to be a right angle. Well, if the whole thing is 180 degrees and this thing is a right angle, then that means that this little bit here between the radius and this black cord, I must have 90 minus A because this part here is A and the whole thing is 90. Well, if that's 90 minus A, I can also see that this is an isosceles triangle, and the bases in an, in an isosceles triangle, the base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal, so that one has to be 90 minus A as well. If this is 90 minus A, and this is 90 minus A, and the whole thing is 180 degrees, then this angle at the top here has to be 2 times A. And you can see that 90 minus A plus 2A plus 90 minus A, that gives me the 180 degrees that I'm after. And so this one here has to be 2A. Well, finally, we can once again see that we've got an angle at the centre and the angle at a circumference in the same arc. So this angle here is going to have to be half of the angle at the centre. Half of 2A is A. So here, I have again proved that this angle is the same as that angle, which is precisely what the theorem wanted me to show.